What's up everybody, I'm Hoops and Hip Hop. So if you've followed Pokemon for very long, you probably know about Ken Sugimori. He is the lead artist at Game Freak for the Pokemon games and the designer of many of the over 800 Pokemon that we've seen so far. However, there is a common misconception out there that Sugimori has designed all or most of the Pokemon, when in fact there are several very popular Pokemon that he did not design. So, in this video, we're going to be counting down the top 5 Pokemon not designed by Ken Sugimori. Now, rather than this being a personal favorites list, I decided to rank these Pokemon on overall popularity and impact that they've had on the franchise and the community as a whole, so without further ado, let's get started. The first Pokemon on this list is none other than Garchomp, and this will really give you a good idea of just how many great Pokemon were not designed by Sugimori. Garchomp was actually designed by Takao Uno, an artist that has been with the Pokemon franchise since Ruby and Sapphire. Ever since Garchomp was introduced in Generation 4, it has become one of the most popular and most cool looking Pokemon of all time, even being popular enough to receive a Mega Evolution in Generation 6. One interesting thing here though is that Takao Uno, the guy that designed Garchomp, is also the guy who designed the elemental monkeys that are pretty much universally hated, which really gives you an interesting insight into the creative process that Pokemon designers go through, and this interesting dynamic actually occurs more than once on this list. The next Pokemon on this list is one that has recently taken the Pokemon community by storm and has become one of the most popular Pokemon ever within a pretty short amount of time, and that would be Greninja. Greninja was designed by Yasuke Omura rather than Sugimori, and needless to say, this Pokemon was almost as much of a focal point of Generation 6 as the Kalos legendaries themselves, receiving an exclusive new form in Ash Greninja, and receiving the honor of becoming a playable character in Super Smash Bros for Wii U and 3DS. Now, Yusuke Amora has been with the Pokemon franchise since Diamond and Pearl and apparently really enjoys water types because he also designed Piplup and the entire Oshawott line. As strange as it is to see that cool Pokemon like this were not designed by Ken Sugimori, it's also really refreshing to know that there is so much creative talent within Game Freak's staff. Number 3 is a pick from the earlier days of Pokemon, and that would actually be the legendary trio of Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. Now I was very interested to learn about this one considering these guys are obviously from Generation 2, and it was under my and frankly many Pokemon fans' impressions that Sugimori was responsible for most of the Pokemon designs of the first two generations, and you would have thought that he certainly would have designed such an important trio of legendaries. However, the legendary beasts were actually designed by Muneo Saito, an artist that has worked with Game Freak and also on the Pokemon manga, and interestingly enough, these seem to be the only three Pokemon that she has been specifically credited for. For not having as much influence as the other artists on this list though, the imprint Saito did leave on Pokemon was as big or maybe even bigger than any of them, as the legendary beasts are some of the coolest and most beloved Pokemon ever made. The runner-up on this list is probably the most well-known in terms of not being designed by Sugimori, and that would be Mew. We all know the story by now, Mew was created by programmer Shigeki Morimoto and snuck into Pokemon Red and Green just weeks before their development deadline, even after all the debugging software for the games had been removed. Mew and the infamous Mew glitch were super integral to the success of Pokemon as they created probably the single greatest playground legend the world has ever known, and the excitement of all of that skyrocketed Pokemon's exposure and popularity into what we see today. However, if you can believe it, Mew still isn't the most important Pokemon not designed by Sugimori, so let's go ahead and check out who is. And the number one Pokemon not designed by Ken Sugimori, believe it or not, is Pikachu. Yeah, I know I kinda gave it away in the thumbnail, but Pikachu, the mascot of Pokemon and the single most important Pokemon in terms of the franchise's image, was not designed by the lead artist himself, Ken Sugimori. Pikachu was actually designed by Itsuko Nishida, an artist who has been with Game Freak from as far back as the days of Pulse Man, before Pokemon was even a thing, and has also designed most of the evolutions, including Vaporeon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon. 
It's also interesting to me personally how many of us have assumed that Ken Sugimori has designed all these Pokemon, and especially important Pokemon like Pikachu, when in reality that's not quite the case because there is so much more going on behind the scenes than we really know. Anyways guys, there you have it, those were the top 5 Pokemon not designed by Ken Sugimori. There were certainly a lot of Pokemon on this list that you wouldn't normally expect to see on a list like this, so be sure to let me know in the comments below what you thought of the list, and if any of these Pokemon surprised you by being here. As always, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe if you're new for more Pokemon content every week, and with all that being said, I will smell you guys later.